Many boards curve up at the tail of the board and many do at the nose as well. This feature is called a kick or a kick tail or kick nose and allows you to get some extra leverage when maneuvering your board or popping it off the ground. There are two common ways the board can curve in the kick. In one way, the board bends along an arc until it reaches a specific angle and then continues straight at that angle. This is called an angled kick. In the other way, the board's kick follows a more complex curve like a Bezier curve. This can provide continuous curvature through the kick so that there essentially aren't any flat spots. Since the kick gets progressively steeper as you move towards the tip, this is called a progressive kick. A progressive kick may provide a bit more of an organic feel than an angled kick, almost providing more of a bowl-like feel if the kick also has concave. This may help your foot lock into the kick ever so slightly more. It will also change how the board sits against the ledge if you're dropping in or doing nose slides or tail slides. I'd guess that most riders probably won't feel much of a difference between the actual kick styles. They'll more likely feel differences due to the way the kicks are defined, like the steepness of the kick or how quickly it bends up. In other words, I wouldn't focus too much on kick style when you are choosing a board to ride. I do have some suggestions if you are making boards though. If you are just getting started with designing boards, it might be helpful to start with angled kicks as they are simpler to understand, refine, and measure. If you are a more advanced builder with a better understanding of board geometries and want more unique shapes, progressive kicks could be worth exploring. You can start experimenting with different kick styles in SkateCAD at SkateCAD.com.